Okay, this will be the second video in the Leathercraft series I'm doing, and it focuses on dyeing. Let's get started. So, as I mentioned briefly in the last video, most of the products that I make are made from a natural veg tan leather. It's really just quite a pale skin tone that it has, and you don't actually need to dye it, you can just leave it as it is, maybe put a finish on it and it actually looks really good. Leather is actually quite similar to wood in the sense that it has a grain. Dyeing the leather actually brings that grain out a lot more and different dyes will do that differently so that will be something to consider when you're actually selecting the dye you're going to use. The biggest reason for me dyeing things by hand, it meant I could just buy natural leather in the different thicknesses that I needed and then I could worry about the colours later. Whereas if I use pre-dyed leather I would need a range of thicknesses and a range of colours, which just leads to having a huge stock of things and it gets out of hand. What I tend to do is I have a piece of cardboard that I just put down and I do all my dyeing on that. It's supposed to prevent my desk getting covered in dye, but as you can see, it's covered in dye. All you need is the dye you're going to use, so make sure you have enough of it, and a way of applying that dye. I have a wool dauber that I use for some of the edges and the smaller pieces. For the bigger pieces where I use a bit more dye, I use an old t-shirt. First of all, I tend to go around the edges with a wool dauber, and then once the edges are done, I'll focus on the main piece of the leather. For the smaller pieces, like key rings or the pockets of my wallets and things like that, I'll just use the wool dauber for the whole piece. And then on the bigger pieces, I'll use a cloth which gives you a much more even application, but it uses up a bit more dye. And once I've done one coat, I'll leave that to dry for a few hours. I'll come back and I'll have a look at it. For some of the lighter colours that I use, they tend to need more than one coat. So once I'm happy with the number of layers on there and everything's dry, I'll work on buffing each piece. It just gives it a nice kind of shine. So once all the pieces are dyed, everything's ready for assembly now. But in the interest of keeping things chronological in the order I actually do them, I'll talk about stamping next. That's the, the next stage in the process for me. Thanks very much to everyone who's checked out the first couple of videos so far. I really appreciate that. And stay tuned for the next one. I'll upload a stamping video next week. Thanks very much. You shouldn't be in here. Hey, pal. Maybe I should put you in all the videos. I'll get all the likes.